What's up, good people? This is a special co-op review with my homie, Obi. Hey now. Hey, hey now. now. My scuba brother. Kiyo. People don't know about that. That's too bad. You know, you had to be there. But anyway. Yeah, yeah there's, there's no explaining it. It's just you had to be there. You, you had to be there. That's our, that's our thing. If you get into the crew, then it'll be your thing. But other than that, nah, it's our thing. <laughs> so, we got a special co-op review going on. I haven't done a co-op review in a long time. Last one was with my little cousin. And we was playing See, a Mega Man. This is my first one. This is your first one. This is awesome. Yeah, we, me and Obed been playing Streets of Rage 4 kind of religiously. And I even got yes. some nice new things that we will unlock when we get into the game that I discovered earlier today, which is going to be fun. But this, I figured that this needs, to be, this needs a definite a co-op player to help me with this review. I can't just say yeah. this by myself. This is, this is a co-op game that needs a co-op review. So, Obi... This is going to be also like a interview at the same time. What made yeah. you a fan of Streets of Rage? Kidding me? I mean, I'm I'm a product of my uh, of the time. I've been a fan of Streets of Rage one since it debuted. Um, if anything, it was like it was the right amount of brawler for the home console. Right, right. That that was my thing. It was it was it was right. The music was amazing. It still is. I mean, even these remixes. I mean, look at what they did with Streets of Rage 4. They got a bunch of the old school um, composers and stuff involved. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, you could say that this great. game was done by fans, most definitely. Oh, absolutely. If, if, if there's ever been a, I guess, a re-release or some sort of updated version of an old school retro game. Right. That if that hits every mark just a hundred percent, it's definitely this one. And I'm a big fan of the uh, the TMNT Turtles in Time that they did back in the PS3 time. I still got that. Copy uh, too. They they did pretty good, but they were still missing a couple of things. If they had done it like this with oh. this type of artwork, I I'm telling you, I would have been would have been singing a different tune. All right, so we're gonna go back into that. So since this we're in a new age of video games that have been what I don't like mostly because everything has gone into the more realistic style like when Naughty Dog went from Crash Bandicoot to Nathan Drake and a lot of other companies have followed suit with that why does Streets of Rage still work right now since it got revamped it's still a retro style in a way but it has a new age vamp to it but why does it still work well the revamp is I mean to me as an illustrator um it's more along the lines of like let's update the the graphics to to fit today's world i mean now we don't really work with quote unquote sprites like we used to back in the day back in the day it was just like little bunch of jaggy squares now it's like oh look at that it's a smooth line yeah now we can pull that off and we can pull off some really great looking graphics um now going back to what you said about or bringing up um Uncharted, as I'm a big fan of Uncharted myself. Oh, I love Uncharted. It's a great game. That's one of those games that, like, it needs to be as realistic as it, as it is. Um, well, let me rephrase that because I wasn't saying that it didn't need to have... No, I know, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Yeah. I'm just saying, um, I, I kind of get what you were trying to say there with that. Yeah. Is that some of these games, like, there are some developers that would take... Let's say Streets of Rage. Let's say if somebody else who made Streets of Rage, they would have probably gone with the 3D route. Oh, like what they did to the Xbox version with, of Final Fight? Or TMNT. Oh. Oh. The, nah, the, the I, last Turtles in Times that they did, that was all in, in 3D. Oh, now nah. The technology side of things. This is even even like just the, the points that people look for in a game like this where like you have good music, you have um, good but repetitive move set because i mean let's face it these guys are doing the same move over and over again because we're just able to just press the one button true but it's also the way but they that... do it right yeah they, it they doesn't manage to to not just duplicate the stuff that they did on the prior one that we obviously know and love but the, it, it it just feels right <laughs> oh, man. It I just agree. feels right. Well, even though it's repetitive, it's still fun to do because, as you see, at times when we're fighting the enemies, we can actually chain the combos and keep it going. No, no, exactly. I mean, that's 
And yeah, I that mean, wasn't really done well back in the day since the technology is a lot better for old school games like beat em ups to do a lot more. I mean, hell, we're catching weapons when we're throwing them. Yeah. The only other beat em up that did that was Mother Russia Must Die. When they could juggle a weapon, you could actually do it in three different ways. You could toss it up in the air and catch it, throw it at an enemy, catch it. And even the AI in Streets of Rage 4 is actually pretty dope because when we fought that robotic enemy, and I played on the hardest level last night. I had to fight two of them. They actually doubled up the enemies in the hardest level. So two of them showed I'm up. I'm sure of it. And when I threw the weapon at him, he caught it. And I was Oh, yeah. Like, the okay, the robot was always able to pick. Um, well, that was the first time I saw it. And I was like, that's impressive. And there's some hidden Easter eggs in the game that I'm going to take you on a ride later with that. Mm. That you can unlock, which is it just gives me that whole nostalgia of what beat em ups was about. And I'm glad that they brought that back. And for those people that hated on the whole idea, I say, you know what, EAD. So what is you, retro? It works. <laughs> and it's fun. It does what video games are supposed to do. It has that cartoony feel. It has a, It may have a cheesy storyline, but it still works, and it's funny. Well, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to have a cheesy storyline. Exactly. It's a cheesy arcade storyline. This would be the equivalent of a summer blockbuster movie. Like, all those action movies, nobody really cares that much about the story. You're there for the action and explosions most of the time. There may be, sometimes there may be a good story, but you're mostly there to enjoy something. You want the thrill ride, and that's what Streets of Rage 4 has given us. And I enjoy the grind, and I'm enjoying that its replayability is up the wazoo because you got to oh, keep it's absolutely on. great. Yeah, because you got to build up the points, unlock other characters, and then the achievements are fun to go for. This one, I think we're going to platinum. This is definitely I'm definitely going to go for it. Yo, hell yeah. Especially all the stuff that you got to do. I actually did it last night and got the um, perfect achievement without getting hit. Nice. And that was fun. But there is a downside that I do want to mention. So a lot of people... Don't get discouraged if you see the scores. I think they're trying to fix that because even my score is not even showing up anymore. Because some people are using trainers to get the highest and double their points. So they can unlock everything faster. So don't get discouraged if you see like the whole leaderboard is full of a million points and stuff like that. Don't even worry about it. Just have fun with the game. So far I'm only seeing it on Xbox and PC. Because since People they got do the, that really do take the joy out of the game. It does because you you like, oh, cool, leaderboard system and all the points that I'm making. Then you realize it's not worth it right now because there's people cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get discouraged if you see that in the score system. I don't know it's, it's, if it's still normal on the PS4. Yeah, I mean, I haven't okay. seen any craziness. Because the funny part is I'm thinking that the Xbox One is still having that issue because it has the Game Pass release and it's a play anywhere game so i think they're linked with the pc version as well so the point system i actually linked so that's what i think was happening and that sucks but don't get discouraged people just enjoy it and you definitely have fun especially this is the first streets of rage to have four player co-op and how do you feel about that i like it i mean considering the amount of characters that we have now yeah you know but Okay, we're going to go into the Devil's Advocate part of the review. What did you feel was the downside? Uh, stabby guy. <laughs> oh, well, that's just... <laughs> Fuck okay. that guy. When that it comes... And, and, was... and, and Tommy Lee Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what he means is the kickboxers. They can be annoying. But a specific kickboxer. Yeah, specific. He's called, um, what was it? Pheasant. Yeah, Pheasant. <laughs> Tommy Lee Joe. <laughs> Yeah, because he's wearing the green like Tommy, and then, you know, if you're going to say Tommy Lee Joe, you may as well just say Tommy Lee Joe. All right, well, on a more technical he's aspect. From, um, from um, Final, um, Final, yeah, Final, 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 Fatal Fury. Yeah, Fatal Fury. I mean, got it mixed Joe up, Higashi, got it mixed up with, yeah. With, yeah. But, um, no, you got, I, you got it mixed up with um, when you were talking about uh, Final Fight earlier. Oh. <laughs> well, to talk about something more technical, the share play was a bitch to get into. Yeah, see, that I can't, I can't really blame the game for. That's that was a PlayStation part. That was a PlayStation error. 
let me put this controller down because even as we're speaking right now, I'm playing the game <laughs> again. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> so, so, I mean, um, yeah. So, so what the, was the, a big yeah, gripe right, on okay. the PlayStation here's, here's, side? Here's where Sony's fucking up. The the options for share play, which is nice. It's great that I can share this game with other people before they buy it, and then they eventually buy it. Like a buddy of mine, he's he's picking it up after you know seeing what I've shown. Um, is uh, they don't really tell you or give you an option to have the other person be the second player until you get to a certain point in the options. It doesn't just go like share play. Do you want to? It just asks you if you want to share the um the screen or if you want to give up your controller it never says um have somebody else join you and you only see that and after you go in the share your screen and then the option is there for like to invite a second player in which is really really dumb that that's a Sony problem. That's a PlayStation problem. The <laughs> when we were doing the multiplayer on the PC, it was just like, all right, click. <laughs> well, Here we, we didn't do share play since we both own the game. Yeah, so we never did the share play on the PC. Well, well that's like the thing though. We don't really need to at this point. <laughs> this is also true. But uh, um, I think the share what was the is the share play on every yes thing yes it even is. on the PC yes it is really. Yeah, it's share play for every or all the systems. Wow. Yeah, they did that to make sure I mean, that people get to try why. it. I can see why with um. But that's why I told you it? if you didn't Xbox, get it on the PC, I was gonna I could share play with you. Um. No, I mean I can see why because you know the PC and Xbox and all that shit you can do it through there. But um, this also brought to the, my attention that if they could have did that, then this game definitely should have utilized crossplay. Well, okay. Here's here's my issue with crossplay. Before I even say anything about like, Go for I it. wish this had crossplay because I do. I wish this had crossplay. Yeah. Um. After seeing what people have been doing with crossplay with some games, I'm not gonna say any 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 name of the games because I I, I believe that anyone that's listening to this would know. Mm-hmm. Um. But just what was happening with the PC version and the Xbox version for the uh, Streets of Rage 4, that people have been cheating to get their scores way up. Um, they've been doing it with another game that's cross-play between the PlayStation, the Xbox, and the PC. Well, now so I'm curious. people have been uh, turning off the option for oh! cross-play. I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you know well, the name. Well, that's a different... And so if everyone is going to listen to this, they're going to know exactly which game this is. That's... I think that's <laughs> I different. still can't believe I bought that that's game. A, that's a... <laughs> you brought it? Yeah, yeah, I bought it. You know that You know that portion of the game was free. You didn't have to buy it. No, no, I know, but I bought the game. Oh. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, like, there there were multiple people yeah. that were like, bro, seriously, you were, you're that bored that you bought that game? Yeah, me and Dre had that conversation. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we saw you pop up and it said Call of Duty, I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, he yeah, boy. But yeah, anyway, yeah. <laughs> but um, nah. I, I mean, don't get that me wrong. That one, like... That's horrible. But when it comes to Streets of Rage, that's like co-op. I mean, unless they play the fighting game and they use it, yeah, they're total dicks. Because there's well, a fighting game portion of it, which is pretty uh, awesome, actually. Yeah, I know, I know. But um, other than that, I still think crossplay would have been dope with it. At it least with the council. But the thing is, right now, no one's respecting it. Nobody's. Nobody's nah, really not. trying to play right. Yeah, They're just not. out there to like to cheat people, and they call themselves gamers. And I do like the that's fact right. that they, yeah, they're not gamers. They're just cheaters. That's right. I'm saying it. Cheaters aren't gamers. Ooh. Oh, dear. We going there, y'all. What you going to do right. about it? Nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come, come at me at an arcade and play me in, I don't know, well, we can't Street do Fighter right 3 Third Strike. We can't do that right now. Or, you know, in the future, play me on Tekken. In the future. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> but, all right, so pretty much, um, what's your score for this? Out of, uh, one out of five. Are you kidding me? This gets a ten out of five. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> well, in my rating system, I give it a buy. I definitely say pick it up. It's cheap. Oh, yeah, it's not absolutely. expensive. It's actually on bucks? sale right now. Yeah, it's 10% I mean, off. Yeah, granted, it's on sale, and you're getting it for, like, 20 and... Like $24. Like, I don't know. Yeah. $24. It's, yeah, something like that. 
It's really and, good. Uh, I mean, we beat I mean, it in what in two hours? I think less than that. We were we were playing for three, but the thing is, we had a lot of stops. Like I mean, yeah, we, we were had pausing a lot. Like yeah. We were discussing some things and shit yeah. like that. So I mean, like we probably beat it like in an hour and a half to two hours. But like I mean, immediately after we played it, I went to sit down and got away from it, and it was like, yeah, I'm gonna go boot it up again. <laughs> I, I started playing the PlayStation one. Oh, there you after go. we're playing the PC one. I was playing the Xbox at work and playing PC at home last night, so. But I'm going to get the PS4 version this week. But, yo, real talk, shout out to Obi. I'm going to put yeah. his links in the description area below. Yeah. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the dislike if you didn't like our, our thoughts. I want you yeah. to share why you didn't like your thoughts. If you are happy, come at me on second. Yeah, come at him on check in without cheating. See how that works. Yeah. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Check out Streets of Rage 4, which is available right now. Shout out to the people and developers that worked on it. Y'all awesome. And we'll see what's the next one that's going to be happening. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I'm what? so, I'm so what? sorry. What? I meant to say this before. What? We were say done. it. Say it. Um, if there's one thing that did annoy me about this game, it wasn't even about the game. It was the release, the way they did it. Yeah, it that, was was so that was a shitty launch. That was a shitty launch. I'm sorry. <laughs> It that was so a shitty bad. match. That was horrible. I mean, it's damn. Out of midnight, and then everyone's like waiting at midnight. It's like, oh no. Wait, you know how that's... many of us stayed up? Yeah. To wait oh, for this God. game it... to be released, and they talk about nah, it ain't gonna be released until 11 a.m. for consoles. But PC got it first. Yeah. So y'all forced me to buy the PC. I couldn't wait for the PS4. That's what happened. It's I three o'clock wait. in the morning, and I'm finding this out. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll just buy the PC version. It's gonna be the bonus. And then when I wake up, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking around. It's like, oh shit, it's it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, so, my God. But other than that, right, that, that... That was the voice in my head right. when I woke up. No, I feel That's you. what woke me up. <laughs> but other than that, everybody. Yeah. Like I said, follow my boy, Obi. He's on Twitter. He's on YouTube. He's going to be doing yeah. his thing soon again. Yeah, uh, I'll be doing my thing. Exactly. So, as always... Oh, and, and I'm going to curse a lot in my videos. So of I'm course sorry. he is. That's how you do. We adults. 18 up. That's how you're supposed to be in this. All right. 25 and up. Beast out. <laughs>